Hey everybody, I'm back <clears throat> after a couple weeks of some Christmas time blockouts or blackout dates. I'm back in the Disney park. Gorgeous day at Epcot. Got some friends from out of town. We're gonna walk them around the park today, get into some fun at Epcot. Today I'm gonna run down my five favorite things about Epcot. And these are just personal takes. These aren't universal. Don't work for everybody. Just five things that I love about Epcot. Thanks for joining me. So glad to be back. Glad you joined me. Said that again because I'm cool. <laughs> I'm a little rusty. Let me knock the rust off this thing and let's get to it. Number five are the festivals. Epcot always seems like it has a festival going. In fact, this is one of the few weeks of the year where there is no festival going on. Early, early in the year, you've got the Festival of the Arts, one of my personal favorites, followed up by the Flower and Garden Festival, on into Food and Wine, and then finally Festival of the Holidays. All these festivals are great in their own aspects. Um, each of them have great offerings at all their food booths, especially food and wine. Really, really like it when they come out with new items for food and wine. It seems like, I guess due to COVID, the past couple of years, the menus have been pretty stagnant, if you will. But all of those festivals are pretty, pretty darn good. My least favorite is probably Festival of the Holidays. Um, we've done the cookie stroll. You've, if you have, we did a video about that a few weeks ago. Completed the cookie stroll. It's okay. Uh, much prefer Festival of the Arts, Flower and Garden, and of course my favorite, Food and Wine, which is also the most popular. This year that ran from right after summertime all the way through, I think the first week of December is when that finally wrapped up. So it was almost half the year, it felt like anyways. But number five on my list, reasons why I love Epcot, all the different festivals. Reason number four, I love the shopping here at Epcot. Whether it be all the unique countries, the World Showcase, or even the Creation Shop, the newest addition to Epcot. Love the merchandise here. You know, if you want everything from a hockey jersey to a sombrero, you know, I love milling around World Showcase, popping into each little country, see what's new, see what's doing. Creation shop and replace mouse gears. Pretty big shoes to fill. Literally and figuratively. Great selection, super modern aesthetic. Really cool place to shop. You can easily spend some coin here in Epcot. It's hard to do, it's hard not to do. So that's number four for me. Love to shop when I'm over here, especially World Showcase. Number three, the food, obviously. I enjoy to eating. Enjoy to eating. Some proper grammar there. But the food here at Epcot, whether it be a sit down like Chefs de France behind me there, I don't know if you can see it because it's kind of glary. Or many one of the many festival booths we talked about earlier. There's something for every pal, there's something for everybody. Uh, that's, uh, that's another reason I really enjoy the festivals is the food offerings. You know, it's not expensive. You know, take 20, 30 bucks and just walk around and just kind of nibble. Nibble your way around the world. Try a bunch of uh, uh, snacks from around the world. Not spend a lot of money and get a lot of food. I'm always down for that. The restaurants that I've personally eaten inside of Epcot include Chefs de France. Um, uh, some of the quick service, uh, living with Sunshine Seasons, living with the land. I've also eaten at Garden Grill. Um, the Mexican place, uh, um, can't remember that it's escaping me right now, but all generally pretty good. Um, but again, I much prefer just taking, you know, walking around, get a little hungry, grab a little nosh, uh, best part about it. You know, so number three for me is the food. Um, probably one of the best eating parks in my, my humble opinion of all four parks. Um, for variety, consistency, and value. So there you go. 
Number two, live shows and entertainment. Just got done watching the American Adventure in the American Pavilion. Pretty awesome show. But there's live entertainment all over Epcot. From the American Theater, right on the shores there. They have a lot of concerts, especially during the holidays. The Jammeters, they perform all over the park. I've seen them in multiple spots. And you have the the Canada stage where they, it's lately it's been uh, Alberta Bound, which is a Canadian like rock folk band. But tons of live entertainment, drummers in Japan. Um, they did have, and I'm, I heard they're coming back, the uh, acrobats in France. You really don't have to go far to see a lot of free live entertainment in Epcot. And that's my number two thing I love about this park so much. Number one reason why I love Epcot attractions. Some of my favorites are here. Test Track, Soren. Uh, you've got Re uh, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Spaceship Earth, Living with the Land. Epcot's sneaky good when it comes to attractions. And by far, one of my favorite parts just to come ride attractions. There's big things on the horizon here. You've got Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind, which will be a thrill ride, which this park really, really does need. But number one, I mean, I've, I've come here just to ride one attraction and leave. I'd probably say that about all the Disney parks, but the other big part of that is going to be, um, other big part of that is going to be, sorry, I had someone distract me. Um, Classic rides, Spaceship Earth, and I'm looking forward to the new stuff as well. Um, don't sleep on Epcot on attractions. You know, as a kid, I always thought, well, that park's really big. It's really cool to look at, but there's not a lot to ride. Coming into its own. I'm anxious to see what Cosmic Rewind does um, to add that big centerpiece to a ride. I'm not a huge Mission Space guy. Kind of makes me claustrophobic, but... The, uh, um, the current attractions they have right now are awesome. Um, I would put Soren up against any, any attraction in any park for now, we'll, but we gotta see what the new year brings. Also, side note to my top five, another pastime I enjoy at Epcot, and this would be controversial. There's a lot of alcohol served at Epcot, for good or bad, and it's, pretty entertaining those of you that have watched the vlogs know that i don't like to be around the parks around dark or closing time fireworks shows and whatnot people would act crazy but golden hour in a in a park where the alcohol is flowing freely it's pretty fun especially in the world showcase i don't know what it is i think it's the drink around the world deal but People really, really enjoy themselves. I don't judge it, but I do enjoy watching. I think that's going to do it today. Hope you enjoyed my quick rundown. The top five things I love about Epcot. If you like today's video, make sure you subscribe. And if you hated today's video, you just sound like you're in a bad mood. So I don't even know what to tell you. Other than that, keep the parks clean.